Uh, last time, on our last video, it was incredibly hot outside, and I didn't say very much, but hopefully it was an enjoyable video to watch. This time, I uh, am a little bit more awake, a little bit more alert, and a little bit more ready to kill skeletons. So let's get into it. Um, so the first important thing that we're going to have to be careful about is this noisy ass fucking ball of skeleton uh, that we saw on our way in. Um, I think you can dodge it by just hiding right here. And then you just run, 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 run down the staircase. And you actually don't have to kill these guys at all because the skeleton ball killed them. Or maybe you do, because I just suck. Um. Uh, it's worth noting that uh, we did just receive a new patch, um, therefore uh, we are playing an offline mode because the servers are offline so we won't get any uh, player invasions or player summons. Uh, but that's fine, so that's not really a big part of what this video series is about. <clears throat> um, I do... So we can progress by going forward. Am I embered right now? I'm not, am I? Oh, ah, fuck, I keep on forgetting to drop those fucking bone shards off like an idiot. Um, I do want to break that um, ball if possible, um, but... Oh wow, you just like forgot where I was? No problem. It's more tight night. This is about the time of the game uh, where it starts to front load you on tight night, which is fine because really at this point you should have been upgrading your weapons. And if you haven't already, it gives you a nice opportunity to, uh, because you won't have to worry about um, not having any. Uh, the but the big skeletons drop it fairly fairly frequently. Get a fire jam out of here, and this is actually the way we're gonna go if we want to progress. Uh, we're not gonna cross that barrier yet. Um, And instead, we're going to go up this staircase because uh, there's some cool stuff to pick up and a couple items up here. Ah! I don't even know who you are, but you're scary. Oh, another shuttle, motherfucker. Now, this guy's got two of them. He also seems a little bit more floaty than the other ones. Yeah, that's about it. You know, these guys used to be really intimidating to me, um, but I think a lot of uh, what's scary about them is actually the way they move. A lot of enemies in Dark Souls uh, have a very sort of lumbering, uh, kind of clunky movement about them. Um, and oftentimes I find that enemies that move a lot more smoothly or gracefully uh, tend to actually be a little bit more unnerving. Uh, just because you're not used to it, you know, you're not used to something moving smoothly and, and gracefully. Okay, so that's that guy taken care of. Um, <laughs> there's the crab. Um, there's a... Oh, you get a dark gem out of it. That's cool. Um, there's a... Um, in the community, there's... Uh, jokes about uh, why there's possibly a crab down here um, and uh, for what reason they could have put it in the game. I personally think it's just because, um, but there, there's a lot of uh, jokes and theories about because the crab uh, outside of um, attacking you for very small amounts of damage doesn't actually do anything except for follow you around. Um, and in uh, Dark Souls 2, there wasn't uh, a pig enemy that you could get to chase you um, to an area where it would, if I remember correctly, uh, dig up a weapon for you, I, I, I think. Um, and so there's theories about, like, you know, where 
uh, where you take the crab to obtain such a weapon. Um, I don't think I don't think it's in the game, and if it is, like, it's gonna take people like people have tried. There's videos on the internet, like they put so much effort into finding this, um, and it's really kind of amazing on the, on the part of the community. But I don't think there's anything behind it. Um, it also certainly uh, doesn't hurt that I uh, get such impressive damage out of this weapon, really. Um, a lot of times in this game, ow, fuck, um, just having the right weapon uh, makes a huge amount of difference. Especially if it's, uh, if it's uh, your first uh, time or your first couple of times uh, through paying attention to uh, what gets the best strength, or not necessarily strength, but... Ah, fuck! Dick. Um, anyway, what gets the best uh, scaling uh, for a particular uh, damage stat that you're using? God damn it. No! Fuck! Ah! Where did he even come from? Where the fuck was that guy even? God damn it. Dick. <sighs> Ooh, large tight night though, that's nice. Okay, now... Maybe we can get back on track with progressing the goddamn video. And maybe this time we won't lose all our souls. You never know. Anything's possible. In Dark Souls. One kill down. I'm gonna wait behind him to get that uh, backstab in as he's reforming. So that's already a big advantage we've got. And we're just gonna sink all our stamina into killing him. So fuck that guy. All we have to show for it is a bunch of tight knight. Like lots and lots of tight knight. That's not all. That's not true. Because we also get the Grave Warden's Ash, uh, which will unlock more um, things for us when we take it back to the Shrine Maiden. If I can ever find my key items. Yeah. It has a Kukri in its hand. Oh. Awesome. I didn't actually... No, that secret wall was there? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? This whole goddamn time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so we are almost at the point of progression. Um, I do want to snake around this way, though. Because um, I love bone wheels. Ah! Forgot about you. And slimes, man. This place has got everything. All 
Alright. So what I'm hoping to do... Ah! Yeah, that's not even that helpful. Uh, hopefully what I'll be able to do is... Uh... Pull an individual bone wheel at a time. Um, and that way I can deal with each one, one at a time, and they won't be so bad. And these are easily some of the most annoying uh, enemies in the series. Uh, because while they're in that uh, attack animation, for as long as they're in that attack animation, uh, their whole body counts as a uh, damage dealing source, essentially. Um, so even if you, like, dodge around them and try and attack them, uh, they still have the ability to uh, mess you up. Um, and you can take damage by your attack animations moving into uh, their, uh, whatever their uh, hit targets are. Um, but I think this is going to work out pretty well. Uh, these, I, I think uh, these ones aren't quite as bad as we've seen in previous games. Um, the worst were probably in Dark Souls 1. Um, I don't remember the ones in Dark Souls 2 being terrible. Um, and then these ones are probably, like I said, the, the most uh, reasonable to deal with. What the fuck? What did I just hit? What made that blood splatter? That was weird. Let's try this again. There we go. Yep. Got it. Ah! Shit. Should have seen that coming. I actually don't want to die, so... Ah, uh, what the fuck? Two of them? Come on now. Ow! Even though slimes never seem like they should be a, like a big deal, they always are. They're always they're just a fucking annoying thing to deal with. So we got this guy. Slightly troubled by the footsteps I hear, but I'm not going to sweat it. And that's him. Good. And you can, of course, always look up and see where they are. So you can kind of strategically not go to those areas. Or attack them ahead of time and make them drop down. What is that walking sound? It's really kind of bothering me now. Oh, does this stuff make a... No? It doesn't. I wonder what that blood splatter animation was for over here. Maybe it's just a weird, like, uh, glitch or something. That is interesting, though. Alright. Let's see. Let's zigzag our way around the slimes. Oh. Maybe this was less of a good idea than I thought. Ah! Oh god. So we got the Karthus Blood Ring, uh, which is not a particularly useful weapon specifically, or a uh, ring specifically for us. 
Um, it's definitely very good for uh, dex builds. You see it a lot um, in PvP builds. Uh, it's pretty common. All right, so we're going to run back to the bonfire really quick, and then we will progress. I right, so now all we have to do is kill this goddamn asshole for like the 50th time. There we go. Pick up yet another Titanite shard from him, and then move the fuck on with our lives. Or deaths. Or however people think of themselves in this game. You come out on this big, lovely cave vista. Ah oh, man, I was really kind of hoping. Ah! Did that work? Is he dead? He's got to be dead. He's definitely got to be dead. Um, so if you're not paying attention, there is this developer message that's like, huh, this suspended bridge is wearing thin. Makes you weary. Weary. Weary? Weary. Weary. Of the bridge, does it not? There's also a lot of uh, skeleton bone parts around here, which makes it pretty freaking obvious that obviously there's a lot of skeletons that are about to come together. Um, they're not too hard to deal with. They're all your garden variety uh, skeletons. They only take a couple of smacks to take care of. Um, and of course, since, uh, as you may or may not know, we are coming up against a boss area soon. Uh, they provide us very kindly embers. Um, I am going to actually spend an ember here because there's a particular uh, NPC summon that I want to grab. Um, which is uh, the Night Slayer Sorig, um, who has kind of a odd summoning trigger. Oh, there it is. Sometimes it doesn't always uh, it happen, so it can be a little bit difficult to uh, try and get it to trigger, but he's a pretty, and like as far as NPC uh, invaders go, he's He's pretty nasty. Um, ouch. The Ultra Great Sword definitely, uh, the Fume Ultra Great Sword, which is a uh, callback to Dark Souls 2, um, definitely is a powerful weapon. Um, and for most people, this is going to be a battle of attrition. Um, ow. And it's a battle that it's easy to make mistakes in. Um, so you're really... Ow! Mostly because his uh, uh, attacks will uh, hyper armor through a lot of your attacks. Um, I'm sure there are a couple of ways to cheese this guy. Actually, now I'm just thinking of at least one way that may or may not break you uh, getting any sort of equipment from him. Which, oh fuck, uh, would be a problem. Oh my god, but you know what sounds fun? He's trying to get him to get hit by the ball. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. Let's see if we can do that. Instead of, you know, trying to kill this guy like a normal person. <laughs> ah! Oh god, we got hit by it too, though. Oh, come on. Uh-oh, this is getting out of hand. <gasps> Jesus Christ, rat, come on. What? Leave me the fuck alone, please. I didn't want to fight you. I didn't want to fight you, giant rat. You forced my hand, though. I had no choice but to fight you. I didn't want to. Oh god, he's gonna... Fucking... No? Okay. Might be able to get him to... 
uh, roll off the edge. Uh, mostly you just want to wait for those uh, times when he uh, kind of he has that weird little out oh, uh, slow down time right after uh, vulnerability time right after his attack um, especially the big overhead swings there we go that's what I was looking for so we get the my thanks uh, gesture and a Night Slayer Sorg's ring, which again we're not going to be using really, but it is kind of cool. Uh, enemies lose more stamina when they're guarding, so if you were finding particularly uh, tanky or turtley uh, enemies, then you could definitely, uh, if you're trying to like whittle through their stamina. Um, people, I think, probably use it more often in PvP, though, uh, as a way to keep f people from turtling up. Hey! It's our friend! It's our friend, An Henry. Henry. Ah, hello. We meet again. Hello. Have you seen Horus anywhere? No. Oh, yes, I see. I searched high and low with no luck. Perhaps he's left the catacombs. Oh, Horace, where have you run off to? Oh, Horace, where have you run off to? Have you abandoned me? No. What a horrible thought. That is a pretty horrible thought. Okay, so fun little trivia fact that that guy right down there, that's Horace. Uh, you can't it uh, get to him yet. Uh, there's a, a secret, well, kind of secret level, and a way to get to him. Uh, not yet, though. So remember before when I was like, hey, there's that weird developer message about this bridge being really rickety, right? But it's not that bad, right? Like, we can run back and forth across it, and it's kind of shifty, but nothing too detrimental. We can roll, we can run and jump. Um, kind of weird, right? Oh no! One of the things you can do is you can break it. Which I think is actually really cool. It's a really cool set piece um, and it's actually really cool um, almost to the point where I kind of wish that developer message there wasn't there because normally you can trigger that giant uh, skeleton horde that's uh, over by where we fight uh, Night Slayer Zorg. Oh my gosh, please don't walk off the edge. Um, and it's highly possible that you could run across here and be like, oh, fighting the skeletons right here at the bridge and then like accidentally chop it and then be like, oh shit, there's this thing. I think it's a really easy find. Um, that doesn't need to be hidden behind a, uh, or isn't so vague that you have to put in a developer message just to find it. Uh, but that's just my opinion. I don't really have anything against the fact that they decided to do that. So this is our next boss battle. High Lord Wolnir. Um, we're not going to fight him just yet. Um, because I want to take a quick detour into the second part of uh, why this is really cool, because not only is it a bridge, it's also a ladder. How great is that? Super great. Super cool. And that's a little bit more sneaky, and like, you wouldn't probably notice that unless you were standing next to it, right? So, like, I'm okay with that also being a secret, I guess. I don't know. I feel like they uh, they tease it out a little bit too much, and then it's just not really a surprise. This though, let's see if we have. We do. No, it's a blood ring. Damn. No. Oh, so the Karthus blood ring uh, boosts rolling eye frames, but uh, lowers your defense. Um, so the reason 
I was looking to see if we have a flame bite ring. Is this motherfucker right here? Uh, this is, of course, a stronger version of the uh, flame demon that we fought with uh, Siegmeier. He's not uh, terrible. Um, and there is this really unfortunate glitch in his AI where he runs up the stairs and then he just kind of stops attacking you until he gets to the bottom and then he's like, oh! And he's going to run up and get you! Oh, no. No, I guess not. Yeah, I don't really want to fight. Oh, shit! Uh, that flame attack, though, definitely want to watch out for. Um, because it's really powerful. Like, a lot more powerful than you might expect. Um, the other secondary uh, way to kill this guy that's uh, makes the... Oh, 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 not expecting that. Oh, run away. Okay. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. So much for an AI glitch. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and go back down. Uh, the other uh, uh, slightly easy way to get this guy down is actually... Uh, oh, you're just not going to do the thing that you were doing before? Cool. Um, his other enemies uh, will be hostile towards him, including... Let's see if I can get it to work, actually. Because uh, it's actually pretty cool. Go down the stairs, please. Oh my god. Thank you. No. Who said you could? Oh my god. Yes, that's right. Just back up. Um, you can also... So if you wanted to, um, there's actually a bunch of uh, sleeping skeletons. You could very easily uh, just lead him down to that lower platform um, and have the skeletons kill him for you. Uh, I prefer this method just because it's a tad bit safer. Um, if you're at all worried about engaging with him. Um, the other kind of fun thing to do is if you can get him to come up and follow you around, uh, you can also trick him into fighting this guy. And actually, this mimic, I don't know um, if all mimics are like this, because I've... Oh. Holy crap, he just killed me in one hit. <sighs> anyway, I don't know if all mimics are this strong, um, but um, this one uh, does a pretty significant amount of damage to the flame demon. And actually, if you can, if they don't end up. Um, Uh, killing each other really quickly, which is also a possibility, um, then it's also very possible for the Mimic to kill the Flame Demon. There we go. Fuck you. Get the black blade with his uh, katana, um, which we're not going to be using. But cool find. Uh, these guys are are particularly useful for the flame demon. Um, probably, maybe even more so than the uh, uh, mimic. Now that I'm thinking about it, uh, because they are regenerating skeletons, so they actually really have two chances. Each skeleton has two chances uh, to kill the flame demon, as opposed to just the mimic. Uh, having a total of one health bar. I did uh, lose an ember though, that's kind of a bummer. I'll have to pop another one and get back to Wolnir. 
Um, uh, I'm not going to continue too far down this path. I do want to do it really quickly uh, just because there's a couple of items in here. Um, they are also uh, is a bonfire uh, that's going to be really close to our boss battle just on the unfortunate off chance that we do happen to die again. Um, and definitely do not get overconfident in this particular section. Uh, it's really easy to accidentally uh, trigger all of the skeletons and have them overwhelmed really quickly if you're not uh, really paying attention for it. On beyond these guys, down here is... Oh, right, I forgot. There's also this uh, head wrap. Which is, oh my gosh, ten times better for our character as a face uh, equipment than that stupid piece of white cloth. So it looks cool. And maybe it's thematically appropriate? Uh, but we also get the old uh, witch's ring, uh, which <laughs> is not going to be useful for our character. I feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot. Um, but it does uh, boost the damage of pyromancies. Uh, which would be super cool if you're a pyromancer. Uh, so beyond there is the Smoldering Lake. It's actually a pretty high, I would say, a pretty high tier area. Uh, we don't want to get into there yet. Um, but what we do want to do... Let's see. I could get two levels out of these souls. Uh, so let's hunt back to Firelink. Uh, we'll do our end of session wrap-up stuff. And then next session, uh, we can attempt to dethrone the High Lord. Welcome home, I shall speak. Very well, then take nourishment. Yeah, we nourish the fuck out of it. Alright. Oh, I guess only one level. So I'm actually going to grab a little bit more HP. Uh, just because I feel like we've been coming up against a couple of circumstances where uh, we've needed to uh, heal a lot. Might as well uh, pop these excess souls and see if we can uh, bump ourselves up to the next level. Yep. All right. So our total health unkindled is uh, 515, 30% more with it kindled. Oh, we can drop off the uh, umbral ash. Gracious, let this. I only hope these new wares content me. Ashen is it? Um, so we get kukri for that for sure. Um, and I'm not sure what else exactly you get from it but I'm sure it is worthwhile. All of this stuff is normal stuff. Alright. I will be sure to bring more souls. I'm sure I can get maybe at least one more upgrade on my cleaver. Oh yeah, totally. Um, and, you know, maybe we'll just... Because I have so much excess... Oh, you know what I should do is actually I should also upgrade this a little bit so I get a little bit more damage out of it. Maybe... Oh, it's already upgraded twice, so... Okay. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Be careful. So we got an extra upgrade on our butcher knife. Uh, we pumped up the great machete a little bit. God, it's so much more damage. Beautiful. Um, actually, can I... Let's see. Hey, dude. Uh, can I... Did we already look into infusions? Yeah, so I can't infuse it. Um, so I'm just going to have to use that weapon as is. Um, okay. 
That's fine. Uh, I think that's all there is, unless there's some more visiting NPCs to say hi to. No. All right. Well, that is that then. Did I ever buy the tower key from you? Did you ever talk about that? I did. I don't know that I ever unlocked it. Um, I'll have to remember to do that next episode, hopefully. Um, burn that bone shard, finally. Alright guys, thanks for joining me. Um, next time we will fight a boss and move a little bit farther in the game. See you around!